everybody thanks for stopping by at another anti Rafael Nadal video on my channel unfortunately I will be criticizing him again and here's why apparently with the Indian Wells tournament he pulled out at the last second and I just find it and other people find it pretty suspect and wondering what's going on. Did he ever intend to play the Indian Wells tournament? He definitely got here in the States early and went to Vegas and did that Netflix slam exhibition match with Alcaraz. And... They suspect that probably he was already suffering an injury because his serving was like making only 40% uh, of his first serves in or missing 40% and he wasn't arching his back or whatever they were saying. I didn't watch the because I didn't have Netflix. Alcaraz phoning it in also or saving himself for Indian Wells. Um, wasn't sliding on the on the hard court, which is usually how he always plays. So they're phoning it in, cashing that check, you know, during these exhibitions. And then Rafael Nadal has a practice which was not really impressive. He was practicing with both his uh, coaches or his uh, team, and they look like good players, but Rafael Nadal, if you're really going to practice, you're going to practice with a host of high-level tennis players on the other side of the net, and he's on the grounds of Indian Wells, and you're going to tell me you can't find a top 100 player to hit with you in practice. So the results of the practice, actually the the person uh, shooting the video commented that they were there for like an hour, but he only did 18 minutes of video because he said he edited out a lot of the practice because he said it looked pretty rough. So I watched the 18 minutes and the 18 minutes looked pretty rough. So I could imagine the stuff that he left out. The players that he was hit with, his team, were hitting balls out. So, the Dow was forced to hit um, with no time and with a lot of out balls. And Dow was making errors and he was just cracking forehands as hard as he could. It didn't really seem like a real practice. I don't know. It seemed like he was just beating up the ball and not giving a, a hoop. And it was just like something I hadn't seen in a pro level practice that was serious. And he was chirping with his coach in Spanish. I couldn't really understand too much, even though I, I, I should know a little bit of Spanish. But um, he was chirping, didn't seem too happy at all. And then he pulls out. So a lot of people say that he's wasting um, doing his fans a disservice because as soon as he announced Indian Wells, people expect that it might be his last time in the States. They book flights, buy tickets, and really make an effort to go see Rafael Nadal, and then, boom, he's not there. And they invested their time, money, and are disappointed, you know. And and, they, and if he had no intention, you know, he, he should he should know his body. He should know if he was ready for the Netflix slam. He played the Netflix slam hurt if he really had an injury. And he's jeopardizing Indian Wells, which apparently he doesn't care about more than Netflix slam because... Imagine if you have the choice to play one match, phone it in, and collect probably as much as the final prize money after playing several matches in the desert heat against uh, top opponents. Um, 
the easy route is a Netflix slam and call it a day and hit the road. And that's what I felt that he did. And that's probably what he did pulling out of the other tournaments, you know. So, the Dow's going to play the clay court season or maybe pull out until Roland Garros play there, shoot his shot there, put in a full effort, hopefully, and try to win one more slam before he calls it a career. Um, some people say, say he might play Wimbledon, but he won't be back to the U.S. to play again because the hard courts is not his... Uh, it's not his thing. And uh, so don't be booking your tickets for the U.S. Open to see on the Dow because I don't think it's going to happen. And, you know, and with that Saudi money deal to help cover debt for the uh, academy, apparently, which had a ton of debt, you know, between doing exhibitions, uh, Saudi deal doing private lessons for 150000 what, an hour or whatever. You know, he's on the farewell money grab tour, apparently. You know, but in the past, exhibitions were hurting tennis because uh, you play one match, you make a lot of money, and then why do you need to go and, and put a huge effort in a Grand Slam when you're making that much money for one match. So we gotta watch out what exhibitions, you know, could be hurting tennis, the quality of tennis in, in tournaments. That's something that gotta be looked at, you know. Um, and, and the players should be criticized for doing it. Alcaraz, you know, he's young. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, start doing these exhibition because what's he going to be, like the Jake Paul of tennis, you know, doing all these stupid exhibition things and people lapping it up, next flicks, throwing money around like crazy. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't go that route. So thanks for watching. I know I'm a critic of Dow. I know he's got a lot of fans, but um, I don't know. It, it just seems like a money grab. That's the way I'm calling it. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And see you later.